This is a project from back in 2012. I originally made three longer videos to show this work, but recently I found the time to remake it into one video, and I figured I might as well add some narration. The material for the vise is 2x3 steel tubing that I got for free. To cut the tubing, I'm using a grinder with a thin cutting blade. I drew up a rough plan before I got started with the build. Then it was just a matter of being careful with the layout to make sure the parts are the right size. I find the best way to build a project like this is to take the time up front to cut out all of the parts that are needed before starting on the assembly. Some pieces have to be pounded flat after they've been cut out. This is half inch thick steel for the nut assembly and quarter inch thick steel for the jaw pads of the vise. A little deburring to clean up after the parts are cut out. Then I can start on some of the machining by drilling the holes that are needed and reaming them out to the correct size. Before welding, the mill scale needs to be ground off. Then the second layer of half inch steel can be tacked and welded into place. The vise uses a 1 inch threaded rod as the lead screw and it threads into two nuts that are welded onto the half inch steel. I screwed in the threaded rod to make sure the threads on the nuts lined up correctly. Then I can finish welding on the nuts. It has to be really strong. Here I'm using self-threading screws to attach the jaw pads after drilling the right size holes. Then check to see how they line up. I can get started on the body of the vise by tacking the parts together with them clamped to a spare piece of tubing. I'm using a hacksaw blade as a shim to make enough space for the arm to fit through easily. Then I can finish tacking everything together. I have to make sure that I grind off all the paint where I'll be welding, which is the biggest downside of using this free material. With the body fully welded, I can clean it up with the wire wheel and check the fit on the arm. The part that makes the moving jaw is lined up and clamped on. Then it's more clean up with the wire wheel and the grinder. The end of the arm needs to be capped and has to have a hole through it for the lead screw. To make the hole, I'm drilling a series of smaller holes as close together as possible. A hole saw the right size would save some time, but I didn't have one. I can then punch the center out and make it smooth.
I'm using a die grinder, but a round file would work just as well. Then I can grind off more of the paint and tack the plate on. With it fully welded, the slag is chipped off and it's ground smooth for the next layer. I figure better thicker than thinner here since this will see a lot of pressure. Back in the workshop, I line up and drill the holes for the nut assembly that will be bolted directly to the steel table. I made videos covering that build as well, around the same time. Here's how the arm fits over the nut assembly and the body fits over the arm body gets bolted to the table as well. I chose to mount this directly on my steel table, but for a freestanding unit, a separate quarter inch steel base plate would be used. Then it's just to bolt it in place and test the fit. Back outside, I'm welding a nut close to the end of the lead screw. This goes up against the back of the cap plate in the arm. Then I thread on another nut, but leave it a bit slack so that the lead screw can turn freely. And weld that in place. Another nut gets welded on for the handle. Then another test fit. It's a good idea to check this after each step to make sure it still works. The jaw pads are mild steel and I'm cutting some cross hatching to improve their grip. Diagonal braces are added to the moving jaw tube to reinforce it. With all of the welding done, the parts can be cleaned up to make it ready for paint. Wiping it down with Varisol removes any oil or grease. Then a couple of coats of paint really make it look like the real thing. The handle is half inch steel pipe and I use two short pieces of three quarter inch pipe to cap the ends. Just heat them up, pound them on and cut off the excess. All that's left is to bring it in and bolt it on. And it's ready to use. If you enjoyed this project, check out the full build article on my website. There's a free SketchUp plan for the vise if you would like to build your own. As usual, thanks for watching and see you next time.